What is up everybody? Welcome back to It's a Daily. As you know, we have another good video for you. Well, I hope it's good for you. But anyways, as you know, I just recently fixed my power steering rack. It's been replaced and I'm telling you, it drives so much better now. I'm actually, ha I'm actually having power steering fluid. So that's really phenomenal. But as you saw in the video that I posted a few days ago, whenever I posted, I got some new parts coming in. Well, I had new parts that just came in. As you can see, I'm actually going to tint out the headlights and tail light. And here they are. You know, I got the headlights right here. They should really clip on really well. And then you got the tail lights that has 3M tape that goes on. I just finished wiping them off just because uh, my roommate, he has dogs and hair got on it. So I just wiped it off. And we're actually getting ready to go to the garage and put them on. Should be fairly easy. And cool thing about American Most is they also provided instruction manual, which honestly we shouldn't need. So it's quite simple. And then alcohol pads to wipe down the area that we'll be having the 3M tape at. That's really going to be it. It's really simple and it's going to be really easy and should make it look a whole lot different. And I'm really looking forward for it. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. All right, everybody. So just like any other video, we're going to start this off with a nice cold start. <laughs> before I go to the garage I'm actually gonna need gas because I'm pretty low on it so I'm actually gonna fill this baby up and I can see how much it costs all right so that cost me about $13 and hopefully it's a full tank the reason why I don't let it fill all the way until like the gas pushes it out and like shuts it off is because this still the, uh, the gas tank lid doesn't shut all the way and so that's why as you can see it looks like it's three quarters of the way but it hasn't balanced out yet we're on an uphill so that's why it's gonna look unbalanced so now we're gonna head to the garage officially <laughs> I'm on the third floor. I got my hood open just so maybe it'd be easier. And we're gonna see. No. Oh, guys, that looks phenomenal. Just like that. Sweet. So basically, what the instruction says for these is, you want to make sure the bottom goes in first, and from there. You should be able to clip it on, on top, just like that. So, let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah. That looks sick. Now let's go ahead and test out the headlights. See what it looks like with the lights on. There we go. Not bad, you can still see. All right, now for the rear. And then the tail lights should look something like this. Now I already got it pretty simple. Now I just gotta come back with the alcohol wipes and wipe down all the dirt to make sure it sticks on nice and tight. So. That's what I'm doing right now. Guys, 
guys, I can tell you this car looks phenomenal now. It's kind of dirty right now, which is why I won't be popping, but I am over outside of spot. <laughs> So now I'm gonna give you more of our review. So like I say, it looks phenomenal, but up here in person, you can actually see some minor flaws. As you can see, like right here, some of this little edge actually sticks out a little bit more than what it's supposed to. And it's actually all lined up, like I'm at the very edge right there as well. And then like one thing I will admit, something I wish that didn't happen with American Muscle is, they put some of the 3M tape on there, pre on there, on the back part, so I wish they would have like gave you the 3M tape instead and you could put on the spots that you needed it to be on. Like I got one on this white spot right here and one like on this tail light right here on top and it doesn't even touch. But luckily I have it nice and secure on this one and that one. And nice and secure on this one and this one. So we should be good. Worst case scenario is I can always take it off and buy more 3M tape myself. And same thing on this one. This one's actually on a whole lot better. But, little minor details. Now when it comes to the front, this one actually fit right in like perfect. Nice and tight, don't have to worry about it coming out. Now when it comes to my right side, my driver's side, this one's a whole different ball game. It's really loose, I'm kind of scared getting this thing on the road because it's not in all the way. Like the bottom's all the way in, but the top itself it won't secure. Um, I'm guessing it's because this one, the middle lamp, is actually like t tilted a little bit, and so that's why it's not all the way secure. But if it's drivable, can't complain. Uh, the only thing we could really do is find out when we hit the road. So let's see what happens. But that would admit too, if you notice, um, I don't have the smoked out fog lights, as you can see, and that's because actually I was thinking between either getting a brand new smoked out already or buy just buying a new one and buying the cover. Well, if, you, if I just buy a new headlight, I mean fog light, I didn't buy the cover, I'd spend more. So I went ahead and just bought the head, uh, fog light smoked out version for like 35 bucks. And mostly because like as you can see this is cracks, I need to replace it. So the missing piece should be coming along here pretty soon. I think it arrives tomorrow. But here pretty soon this should be all blacked out. Paint job, hopefully soon as well when I go back to Texas. But yeah, I'm overall satisfied. What is up everybody? And... As you can see, I'm in different clothing, and I was supposed to show y'all what the car looks like with the headlight and taillight covers at night, but fortunately, I just like crashed out, passed out. I was super exhausted, like I mentioned in the video. So it's the next day, and it's early in the morning. I'm getting ready for work, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like right now, early in the morning. There she is, y'all. Early in the morning, late at night, shouldn't matter. Should all be the same, but this thing looks sick. I freaking love it. The only downfall is the bumper is now like making the car look bad as you can see due to the scratch up paint but like I said here pretty soon I have like a week off for like a few days I go back home my friend Sullivan is gonna repaint the front bumper so I'm really looking forward to that but guys that is sick I'm gonna turn on the lights for y'all as well Not bad. We notice it doesn't line up all the way, as you can see. But that could just be because light bulbs need to be replaced. And the front, they still look great. Look okay. at So this still comes off, like I was saying, because it's not all on the way. For some reason, it won't stay attached. It's still nice and tight in there, so that's all that matters. All right, everybody, so that's gonna end the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video, do whatever. Be prepared, because the next video I'll post is actually gonna be the tinted fog lights, as you can see. This one's cracked, and it's not tinted, so we gotta match the headlight and taillight covers, so that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna be what the next video's gonna be about. I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe.